On May 15, 1996, I was notified by pager by the Virginia Beach Police Homicide Sergeant asking to respond to a scene of a double murder. Eddie McDessie and his wife, Elise McDessie, had been out for a dinner. Elise McDessie was a good sailor. She was a model sailor. We received the shots fired call over the radio. The dispatcher has an individual on the phone. Oh, oh, God. Claiming that he had found an individual raping and murdering his wife, and he had just shot and killed him. I'm, I'm on the phone with the police the whole time. I'm like, I'm saying, please get here fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in 1996, I was a sergeant with the Virginia Beach Police Department. I've seen horror films. I've seen you know, the slasher films. When I walked in, my first reaction, I remember thinking, oh my god, this is real. I knew someone hit me on the head. After that, I was dizzy, fainted. Elise McDessie was tied on the bed. Her throat had been slit, and there were multiple stab wounds in her chest. Blood was everywhere. Laying on the floor next to the bed was Quincy Brown. Quincy Brown and Elise McDessie were co-workers assigned to the Oceana base headquarters. Quincy Brown is in her apartment, and Quincy Brown has been shot dead while murdering Elise, shot by Elise's husband, Eddie. We often talk about the sixth sense, when something bad is about to happen. Before we even left the crime scene that night, we had discovered a, a videotape. My name is Elise McJesse. I am making this videotape in case something happens to me or to my husband, Eddie. Elise McDessie spoke from the grave to say what had happened to her. Mike Mather, News Channel 3. This was a very big story. Elise McDessie was dead. It was a big deal at the time. Clearly, there were some alerts going off that it was much bigger and a whole number of issues, far more than I had even imagined. This is the story of a murder case spanning six years and two continents. Now police believe they can solve the crime. I just have to get to Russia.